Oh, shit. So what do we got here? You want to tell us, senor? Um, this is my 2011 Prius Cruze. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Why so, is it Toyota? I mean, a Chevy. It, it, it's a Chevy, but it's it's a Prius. It's, it's electronic. Prius nice? No, I, I failed. So... Anything you want them to know about it? Um, it's a 2011. <clears throat> uh huh. It's a six speed manual. Uh huh. It's a yeah. 1.4 liter turbo. Ooh, EcoBoost. Uh huh. And, um. Oh, so it's the turbo Prius. Holy yeah, it's the turbo shit. Prius. Oh my uh, god. I can, I can open this if you want. Oh, that opens? Yeah, that opens because, you know, Prius power. Prius, like oh it's, look at that Prius engine! I keep it pretty pretty clean. Why does it have a Chevy logo on the engine too? Um, for safety reasons. Oh okay, that makes sense. And um, back here it says "Do not touch," but <clears throat> I don't list. <clears throat> I'm dying. You were driving with the intake box off. <laughs> yeah. I don't listen to the rules, so I'm gonna touch it. Oh my god! I touch it. Are you dead? I think so. My toe is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Someone ran over my toe. Rip toe. Rest in peace, my toe. Yeah. Mmm. Delicioso. Yeah, so anyway. Much approved. Yeah, it's really nice. Coil lovers to come. Maybe in the next few weeks. Maybe. Damn. Really? That fast? Yeah. My next paycheck. Holy shit. Anyway. But yeah. Welcome to another video of Blue Squad. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. If you're new to this channel, <laughs> feel free to like and subscribe and just like be a part of the Boost Squad fam, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on this and a little bit of work on my Mazda, which is outside somewhere out there. It, it just disappeared. We don't have one outside anymore. We got rid of it. Um, but yeah, so what are we doing today? We're fixing the tow hook. Uh-huh. Because this is... Okay, so this... It's just a fashionable tow hook, no function, but it's just for the looks. And how do you mount it? Uh, well, if you come here, uh, basically oh. right here. Hold on, I need a light. I got you. Okay. Okay, so basically, right here, I just took a a knife and I cut like two of these little plastic thingies, and I just zip tied it onto my bumper. Nice. Well, and that's just basically how it works. Uh, but yeah, if you pull my car with this, you'll probably rip off my entire buffer. That seems legitness. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be fixing that most likely if we have time and if we can, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up having to cut the actual bumper itself. So I don't know if he's gonna wanna do that today because we don't have any new paint and we don't have anything to protect the car right now. And I do have a Dremel tool, but it's better not to risk it at this early stage but yeah so we're gonna be doing that we're gonna be polishing the headlights so we'll show you guys how to do that um most likely that's gonna be the most detailed filled um i guess how to today and what else we're we doing we're doing horns, right? uh, we're gonna do sonic horns to this car too the same ones i have on my mazda and i'm not sure where we're putting that yet because I'm not sure if he wants them exposed or not. Even if he wants them exposed, I don't think they're going to be that exposed anyway. Um, and what else? Uh, uh, got some mud flaps. Mud flaps. And I got... Uh -huh. Oh yeah, and oh. some side... Like, Splitters, diff, like, like a bumper? half splitter, I half guess. Splitter. Or like a quarter splitter. Just for the corners. Just... Oh, and you know what the bed, you know what else we're Just like do? that. That looks pretty cool, Jason. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I've been trying to do that. Yeah, so we're going to do that for sure. And then, and then oh. we're going to put all the fenders on the white body. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Just kidding. These don't look good on this car. No? No. They do not. I hope. Yeah. They don't because they're too wide. The yeah. opening is too wide. Yeah. 
We can try them on the Mazda again later. Yeah. And if not, we'll put them on Alex's um, Eclipse. Right, sir. Eclipse. Right, Eclipse. Oh, you guys like my new wheels? These are my new wheels. Look at these. Oh, and they're not his, they're Alex's. No, 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 they're mine. These are my new wheels. I did a video on these. Well, I tried to, but like, the video's not out yet because I haven't finished editing it. Shh, no explosion. No, I know. And try not to catch him, please. They, they took a lot of work. I'm, 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 I'm gentle. I'm gentle. Yeah. So, that's all we're going to do today, right? Yeah. All for me? Yeah. So, most of the video is going to be time-lapse because we're going to be doing so much work on this car in such little time that we're going to have to be, like, um constantly like doing work and we can't be on the phone too much because if not we lose time and on top of <laughs> I lost my pole <laughs> and if not uh, so most of it is just going to be time lapse just so that we can get work done and on top of that we can get everything done in the video and not make a million year long video because that's boring um mm -hmm. so yeah so we're just going to get started and konnichiwa oh we forgot one thing! What? I have to show them that? No, 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 these. Are oh. we gonna go for them later? Oh, the harness? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If, I mean, if you want. And then, uh, Jason already did a little bit of work. He put a bride boot and a custom shift knob right there. Uh, yeah. For Mo extra horsepower. Mucho horsepower for each gear since they're red. And then like, he has an S2000 there that's mine now, eventually. Oh, if you guys ever don't know how to do shit on this car, have a manual. <laughs> they sell them at auto stores. No, I'm the only one that has it. Oh, okay. So, he's the plug. I'm the plug. Alright, so I'm just gonna mount you guys up probably like up here or something on this go kart. Mucho expensive, I don't want to break my phone. That's first person how to put on a case. Uh, I'm going to start recording from here because I just flipped the camera. So anyway, yeah, Jason is taking off the plastic dip. And the car's on jacks. We took off the bumper. It was a really big pain because you have a lot of bolts under the car. We have a lot of bolts. These are really hard to take off right here. A little clip on the side without breaking the bumper and the bumper was already broken ps uh so we decided that the horns are gonna be right here so here's the center of the car the latch it comes down the emblem will be right here the chevy emblem and then the horns will be here really close together because of the size of the grill because the corners are cut off and there's only a little small opening like probably like that big like referencing to my hand and then we have so you can see it right there it's, that's a small little gap so for anybody that's trying to customize the grill also oh yeah i would recommend you to oh you're still taking off flashy dip mm -hmm. oh i thought you were sanding um uh, when you... No, when you start sanding, um, um, use uh, water because these are water sandpapers. Anyway, um, to take off this chrome trim off of the grill, um, it has like little tabs like that. Here they are, little one, two, three million tabs, and those are really difficult to get out if you're by yourself. So I would recommend somebody to have help but anyway so basically all we did was just press them down and then use this flathead screwdriver and then expand that gap right there and then we just pushed it out we just pushed it out and it was um, very somewhat easy so then we're gonna polish up the headlights also because those are disgusting and right now they don't look that bad because they're just dirty but when, once they're clean, you can see how bad they actually are. And so far, we have the bumper off. Um, 
I don't know if this is anything. I mean, I know that it's important, obviously, because the car has it. But this is like some active arrow kind of thing. Like it goes in the bottom grill and then it just opens like that. So it just has like a little motor right there and just opens and closes. And that goes to the bottom of the grill down there. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to leave that off because one, we're not even sure if it works because of the previous history of this car. On top of that, that's where I have to mount my anything. Yeah, plus that has to come off eventually, if, anyway, if one of these days. Because the intercooler is going to go down here. Can't even see my finger. But anyway, so, so far I drilled three little holes right there. We're going to use rivets for, for the top part. And for the horn, we're just going to use those sonic horns. And I made a bracket right there. It's being painted so that it's more um, stealth, stealthy. So it's just like a L bracket that's just gonna mount up there. And then we're gonna rivet it and then the hangover part is just gonna have holes for these right here. And I'm gonna start doing the wiring for for the horns. So the horns, the factory horns, well not horns, horn, because this is just one little baby piece of crap one. There's another one up. No, it's the other side is the intake box. Uh, so the horn is right there. It's a little baby one that nobody cares about because you can't even hear it. Um, and yeah, that's pathetic. So what we're gonna do? I mean, this is pretty loud for a little one. <laughs> Wait, open the car. Oh shit! <laughs> Why not? Um, so yeah, so basically what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this off right here like that and there's two little connectors in there so one and two one's positive one's negative red red and gray is positive black is negative so this is gonna come off completely and we're gonna put that away somewhere safe um yes we're keeping everything for this car just in case if so i decide to sell it or i need to do a you know, pass inspection for something where is this car from from what do you mean what what is the brand from? America. Uh huh. And then made, made in, in Korea. <laughs> and eventually, these are gonna be LEDs. A lot of the lights are gonna be LEDs. I'm not sure what this goes to. Uh, I think that's I, yeah. That matches. How do you know? Temperature outside. Uh, cause I've heard it from a million people. Oh, so yeah. I guess this is the temperature gauge and uh the fog light wiring should be around here somewhere if they were considerate enough to allow people to do that because my car has it my car has like um fog light wiring just sticking out under the car because like it's the same car as the f with the one with fog lights so they use the same wiring they just don't include it so it would make sense but i don't see nothing here so they might just be little <laughs> who even knows it just says Korea. We don't even know if Probably it's... Probably someone just slapped that sticker on there for more JDM. KDM. KDMness, yeah. Legitness. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep working. Sorry, we haven't recorded a lot. We're just trying to get a lot done today because he doesn't get to come here a lot. And we're doing a lot of work in one day, so... Hopefully it works. Yeah, I mean, it's going to work. Have you seen my car, dude? My car is legitness. But in one day? Oh, in one day? Yeah, we can get 90% of it done. I don't think we'll be able to get to the harnesses. <laughs> but we'll get most of the front end done. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to keep working. And uh, I'll time lapse the parts that seem interesting or senior painter. So, so far. Oh, is the flash on? Yes. So, so far we have done the horns. I got cut a couple times, no problemo. Oh my God, never, Jason. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what happened. Yeah, don't, don't spray it again. That's okay. Okay, we can spray, we can keep spraying the, the other one. So we got the hella horns, wannabe hella horns, and we painted them purple. We we're painting the calipers purple. Because gray on purple looks amazing. And 
We're using a candy purple for the brakes. We're using regular um, Rust-Oleum purple for the horns because they don't need to be that fancy, especially since he's going to replace them eventually for better ones. Mm -hmm. um, so, so far, um, from that last video I said I made the brackets or whatever. So that's the bracket right here. It's a little wiggly right now because the horns are not on there. And I still need to put a rivet right there. Um, but yeah, so it's a bracket, it both a rivet's on up here. So one, two, three, four. Um, and these are the brackets for the horns. And then it has a cross brace thing that I'm gonna cut up. This is just like a mock-up. Um, I'm just gonna make it a little bit skinnier and cleaner. And then there's another brace right here that goes like that. So that this is just one solid unit and that they don't shift while he's driving. Um, so, and then we mocked up the, the side canard thing, looking thing, I don't know what to call it, uh, I guess the, the splitter thing, the, the one-sided splitter. I wonder if my dad came in the mini, or in the smart, I mean, if he did, that would be hilarious. Oh my god, it's snowing a lot. Yep, it's mine. Anyway, so... We're about to print the calipers, and yeah, that's where we're at right now. And we're gonna do those mud flaps last, like completely last, and still polish the headlights if he doesn't have to leave. But yeah, this is a work in progress, and it's coming out nice. And then we might do the tow hook today, might not, depending on how much time we have left and how much room we have. Replacement. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it's really, really cold and it's snowing outside and you can't see it, but imagine it's snowing. And there's the horns. Yes. <laughs> so that's what we have set up right there. We paint, paint, uh, painted them purple somewhat. because, yeah, somewhat. You can still see red behind them, like right there because that's the original color, but we didn't care about that because that's gonna go behind the black grill anyway. So you're gonna be seeing it from directly from the front and not from the corner. So it didn't really matter. And it's really cold, so. We're gonna just get this painted. Yeah, so we're trying to hurry up because, but I mean, it looks good. Like you can see it in the camera and it looks really, really good. And right now we're doing primer on the caliper so that we can do a base coat. And then there's the other one. Hold on, hold on. You gotta show them my sponsor over here. Your what? My sponsor. Your sponsor? Nos. Wait, what? Nos sponsored. Nos sponsored. <laughs> you um, get it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Alright, well, my phone's gonna die. I'm gonna put it to charge and then I'll, I'll be back. Alright, so what happened? It's yeah, just tacky. just uh, get a, the rag and spray some rag cleaner on it and then take off most of the paint. So, so far... Um, the rag or you want me to use the wire brush? On it? Uh, the wire brush is good. So, so far we did like the little side pieces on the bumper. Uh, there it is. That's how it looks like. Yeah, so basically... My bad. So basically, all you guys, like if you guys are trying to do this yourselves, all you guys have to do is literally super straightforward. Just mock it up how you want. All we did was get the bumper and put it, so like, it's like this right now, and then we just put it on its back, basically. And then right now, um, so far, we're going to do the 3M headlight restoration kit and see if it works. Because as you can see, these guys are kind of foggy. You know what I mean? A little bit foggy. So, yeah. We're just gonna do that for now. Uh, so first, what you guys gonna wanna do is clean your headlight with soap and water, which we have done. And the kit comes with gloves. You don't have to put them on necessarily. But, <laughs> doctor. I got doctor gloves in my truck. Yeah, yeah, so it says use the pink 
Uh, so it just says use the P1000, which is that one. And you get like this little foam, little, oh wait, what? So I guess this foam basically molds to whatever shape you want it. I don't know, that's weird. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So what you're gonna do, this, put it together and then, I would get a bottle with soapy water or just water in general and it's done. So I would just spray it like that. Nice and moist. Moist. That's what she said. I'm moist. And what you're gonna wanna do is if you have your body parts on, you're gonna wanna put this tape that it comes with all over the car. And then you're just gonna wanna do a little circular motion. Like this. This one out, the P100 to the P3000, or P1000 to the P3000. How this works, but this is supposed to be like some liquid or you know I guess it's like a little like a little towel and it has like a liquid um has like some liquid uh what you gonna call it clear coat for the headlights I'm not sure how to use it says to pass over <laughs> it smells weird it's, it's said to pass over 20 to 25 percent of its coating and not to unfold it. So I guess this is what we're doing. Ooh, Ooh nice. I think it worked. It might have worked. Not gonna lie. You want me to grab a microphone or something? No, I don't think you're supposed to. I think you're supposed to leave it for like 15 minutes or something. I right, read it. Read the rest of it. Okay, well, slowly, I see. slowly apply coating. Here to go, senor. So, a little bit more progress. Uh, don't worry about that hole or that paint. Let's just get on this right there that we did. But anyway, we got the tow hook mounted on and we got it mounted on the opposite hole of this one over there so it looks pretty cool now we just need to make sure that it clears anything here and if not then we cut mm -hmm. but the brakes are coming out pretty nice let me see ah. and there's a little bit of drip there but here's the color I don't know how to feel about this one. Why? It's coming out worse? It's... I think it's... I mean, I do expect it to turn out great. I mean, they look cool. That's how they look. What do you think? 
you like. I like headlights. What else? I like horn. I like tow hook. I like so much purple. I like the badge. There's the brakes. They look really good. Uh, they look better from far away. <laughs> <laughs> they look good, but from far away. I like the badge too. Oh, you do badge the already? Yeah. Let me see. No more cruise. Where are we going? Not on a cruise. <laughs> Not on a cruise. And then the grill's almost done. It's drying up retarded, but better than what we've had all night. Freaking cold ass weather doesn't let us paint. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have painted today, but it's okay. It's all replaceable parts. What else did we do? Oh, the bumper. Oh, yeah. I'm putting it back together right now. With the painted grill. I don't know if we're going to do the mud flaps now. Huh? We painted the, the side marker. We, we smoked it out. Yeah. Alright, well. This is pretty much it for tonight. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, if anything, I'll just add pictures to the end of how this looks all put together. But for oh my god, that's really close. <laughs> but for now, peace out. Got my tuber. Got my tuber. My tuber. My tuber. I don't know how to better bear. Mm -hmm. Here, you get this one. My hands are dirty. It's okay. So I like it. Um. Anyway. So yeah. Peace yeah. out, and see you next time.